the class 2 of antiarrhythmic drugs are beta blockers. So these are the medications ending with the suffix lo. They don't work with the cardiac myocytes themselves, but they work on the cells that generate the electrical current, causing the myocyte contraction. So they decrease the activity of the SA and AV nodes. And they favor more the AV node. And so we use them in cases where we want to decrease the heart rate, such as in atrial fibrillation and supraventricular tachycardia. And because they are beta blockers, they have the side effects of slowing down the body. And this includes the activities of the patient, their mental stability, and of course their vital signs, which are the same effects that we see if a patient is hypoglycemic. So beta blockers can mask the effects of hypoglycemia, and if the patient appears too slow and his vital signs are low, we cannot know if this is because of hypoglycemia or because of beta blockers. And of course we have to do more testing to know. They also cause impotence, which is reversible, exacerbation of COPD and asthma, and of course they cause depression of the CNS. In post-op patients, they tend to have tachycardia, and so we use Esmolol because it has a very short half-life and it works extremely fast. Metoprolol, on the other hand, can cause metabolic syndrome with weight gain and hyperlipidemia. Propranolol can induce prinzmetal angina in some patients, and carvedilol with labetalol are the only beta blockers that can be given to a patient with free chromocytoma or cocaine toxicity without giving him alpha blockers beforehand. In a normal patient, if you want to remove a free chromocytoma or reverse cocaine toxicity, we have to give them alpha blockers first, and then we give them beta blockers. But there's an exception for carvedilol and labetalol, and they can be given alone without alpha blockers. The antidotes for beta blockers overdose are glucagon, atropine, and IV fluids. And in the action potential curve, they work in phase 4. Use the link below to get access to the full cardiology medications course. The course includes all heart medications, their mechanism of action, the side effects, and the important notes. With every lecture in the course, you will have the external links referencing the updated guidelines so that you stay up to date and you don't miss anything. You can also test your knowledge by answering the MCQs and the quizzes included in the course. It's an excellent way to stay updated and to remember everything. Thank you for watching.